All right, so isang magandang hapon po sa lahat sa mga teachers, librarians, and of course students from PSHS Central Mindanao Campus, Lanao del Norte. Welcome to our online library literacy program or what we call the OLLP. So maraming salamat po for joining us this afternoon. Ayan, and we're very happy to see a number of participants in the Zoom room. Pero kung may mga friends pa kayo or classmates or batchmates na wala pa dito, please invite them to join because we will be starting the session in a few minutes. And siguro while we're waiting for more people to come in, I'd like to take this opportunity to greet and acknowledge the following people, particularly the campus director, uh, Mr. Franklin L. Salisid. Good afternoon po. Uh, Chief Curriculum and Instruction Division, Ms. Hasmin C. Esperante. Good afternoon po. Chief of the Student Services Division, Gay Marie P. Madraza Madrazo. Good afternoon po. And uh, the Supervising Administrative Officer, Marisa L. Dahan. And of course, the Librarian, Ms. Joe T. Malon. Again, uh, welcome po and we hope you're all staying safe and healthy amidst the pandemic. So again, maraming salamat po for requesting the session and we're very excited to share with you our library efforts, programs, and services. And again, this session is uh, organized by the DOSD SDII in partnership uh, with ASMEX. Yeah. But before we officially start the program, ano nga ba ang OLNP and why are we doing this? So in a nutshell, ang OLNP po ay isang uh, initiative ng DOSD STII which aims to promote our free resources on STI or science, technology, and innovation. Kumbaga, para siyang as uh, library orientation but online and more detailed. And now to give you uh, more details about our discussion, uh, here are our topics. And so next slide. Again, but bago po muna lahat, I will also to introduce myself. I am Billy Marquez, Science Research Specialist 1, and I will be your moderator for today. And together with me is the library team. We have here our supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOST SDII Library, Ms. Linda Lee M. Maglaki. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Thank you, Louie. And again, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, well, Ma'am Jo, for requesting this session with us. Hintayin po namin kayong bumasita dito, physically. <laughs> so again, enjoy listening po sa ating mga topics. Yan. So kasama din po namin ang uh, Science Research Specialist 2, uh, Ms. Irene Alice Miller. So good afternoon, Ms. Irene. Good afternoon, Ms. Louie, and good afternoon, everyone. Yan. At kasama din po natin ang aming Information Systems Researcher 3, uh, Sir RJ Escondo. Yan. And present also is our uh, tech person, Mr. Rainier Zagada. And so yan po ang team behind today's activity. And now to give you a glimpse of our discussion, we will be covering the following topics. I think for the slide, ang ating pong discussion today will be divided into three uh, sections. Ayan, so for the first part, we have uh, getting to know the OST STII, its services, resources, and products. Uh, part two, it's about researching in the OST STII library. Paano nga ba uh, gamitin ng aming online public access catalog at paano nga ba mag-request ng materials from the library. And part three is about navigating the Starbucks offline, online, mobile app, quiz app, and how to avail. So all these topics will be discussed even further by our presenters later. Ayan. Okay, so next slide, please. And for the smooth flow of the program, we're asking everyone to please take note of the following house rules. Uh, this webinar will be recorded for documentation purposes. And if you have any questions, please use the Q&A chat box. And uh, please feel free to post your questions while the presentations are ongoing. Be polite, pay attention, and actively participate. And finally, an evaluation and post-test will be provided in exchange of the e-certificate of attendance. So your link po will be posted in the latter part of the session. So please stay tuned until the end. Okay, and uh, moving forward, flash on the screen are our presenters. Yan, so nakilala niyo na sila kanina for the first part. Uh, Ididiscuss po yan ni Ms. Linda Lipian Maglake, our Supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOSD-SDII Library. Part 2 naman po, 
Ang mag-discuss ay si Ms. Aileen Alice Pili, our Science Research Specialist, who is also a registered librarian. And for part three, si Mr. RJ C. Esconto po ang mag-discuss our Information System Researcher. And now to formally welcome all of you, let's all hear a message from the Director of the DOST STII, Director Richard Lieberkoch. Hi, let me greet everyone a happy day. It is always a happy day for us here at the DOST STII Library. And why is that so? Well, as a special repository of science, technology, and innovation information, we are always surrounded by the best minds and works of scientists, technologists, and innovators from the Philippines and from all around the world. So, when the COVID-19 pandemic threw the whole world in a lockdown, some of the first places to be shut down were libraries. We could not receive walk-in clients anymore. Good news is that while our daily physical visitor count plummeted to zero, our online patrons continued to visit us and even increased in number. Moreover, with the school opening in the new blended environment for instruction, more and more learners and teachers are using online tools and resources and discovering the value of digital libraries. The requirement of the time, therefore, is to be agile and to pivot quickly to online solutions. Thus, we repositioned our old physical library tour and orientation program to an online version which we now call the DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program. This is a way of reaching out to all teachers and learners who need to access resources and services that they can use in distance learning. The DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program has three parts. Part one is about getting to know the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute our services, available resources, and products. Part two teaches you how to research in the DOST STI library, how to navigate the online public access catalog, and how to request for library materials. Lastly, part three will discuss our digital library in a box, the DOST Starbooks. It will teach you how to navigate the DOST Starbucks offline or online, or even its mobile app version. Then there is the Starbucks Quiz app, which is loads of fun. Generally, the online library literacy program aims to capacitate DOST stakeholders in the field of science, technology, and innovation and to maximize the use of DOST STI services and resources. The most wonderful news is that all these resources are available online for you for free. So what are you waiting for? Come and spend a happy day at the DOST STII library. Visit our FB page at facebook.com slash STII library and access our online public access catalog at signet.dost.gov.ph. See you soon. All right, so yun po ang aming very energetic and ever supportive director ng sa director Richard and uh, taking off from his video message, sana ay mas na-excite kayo na marinig at malaman kung ano nga ba ang mga services and products on DOST STI. But before that, uh, let me just give you a quick run through about the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. Yan. So for those who don't know, ang DOST po ay matatagpuan sa Dikutan Tagig City. And from 1958 to 1982, DOST was formerly known as the National Science Development Board or NSDB. 
And from 1982 to 1987, it was changed to National Science and Technology Authority or NSTA. And finally, in 1987, by virtue of Executive Order Number 128, it was changed to Department of Science and Technology or DOSD as it is known until today. So again, from NSDB, naging NSTA until finally DOSD. So currently po ang DOSD ay pinamumunuan ni Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña or SFTP for short. Ayan, so kung makikita niyo naka-flash sa screen, yan po ang aming uh, Secretary, Department Secretary. Ayan, and a quick trivia also, SFTP stands for the slogan of the DOSD, which is Science for the People o sa Tagalog ay Agham para sa Bayan. And so uh, USD is also composed of several regional offices and 18 attached agencies. So siguro yung iba familiar na, uh, familiar na kayo, like ang um, say po ay attached agency ng USD, ang um, FIVOX, ang Pag-asa, yan ay mga examples ng attached agencies ng USD, which are divided into four clusters, namely the Sectoral Planning Councils, the s and services, the collegial and scientific bodies, and the r and institutes or research and development institutes. And DOST SDI ay po ang uh, um, DOST Science and Technology Information Institute o yung naka-highlight ay uh, bahagi ng s and services as the marketing and information arm of the DOST system. Okay, so now we shall proceed to our topics. So here's the video presentation of uh, Ms. Linda Rita Maglake to discuss with you uh, the services, resources, and products of the DOSD SDI. Hi, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for requesting this session with us. So we do hope you are all doing well. I am Linda Lit M. Maglake. You can call me Linda for short. I am the head librarian of the USD STII Library, and I am here today to introduce our agency. So let's get to know the USD Science and Technology Information Institute. So mga hindi po nakakaalam, we are the information and the marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology. So we have three mandates. Number one is to establish a science and technology library. So, yun po yung DUST, STII library. Second is to disseminate science and technology information. So, we disseminate science and technology information in all formats. So, we do have our own publication. We also do online broadcasting. We also have different websites. And we also provide um, mobile apps. Ayan. So, iisa-isahin natin yan lahat mamaya. And then third, to undertake training on science and technology information. Just like this one. Ayan. So, kung gusto nyo malaman kung ano yung mga upcoming webinars namin, trainings or seminars, follow nyo lang po kami sa aming social media accounts para kayo ay updated. So, sabi ko nga, iisa-isahin natin yung mga resources, mga services, and all of the products that are free. Free po lahat ng mga services, resources, and products ng STII. So, sana po i-maximize natin, i-avail po natin lahat. So, we provide SMT information services through our STII library. So, ito po yung STII library. We are located at the OST complex in General Santos Avenue in Bicutan, Taguig City. So, kung gusto niyo po kaming i-email or i-contact, yan, here are our contact details. Pwede niyo po kaming i-email sa library at stii.dust.gov.ph. You can also like and follow. PM niyo po kami, chat niyo lang po kami sa aming Facebook page at STII Library. You can also follow us sa aming Instagram account at dust.stii.library. And follow niyo po kami sa aming Twitter account sa STII underscore library. And kung gusto niyo po na mapanood ulit yung pong aming mga uh, previous webinars, mga trainings, mga online sessions just like this one, pwede po kayong mag-subscribe sa aming YouTube channel sa DUST STII Library. And if you would like to text or call us, you can call and text us on the following numbers. Yan, meron kami for Smart and Globe and Sun Subscriber. So, sino, ka, sino dito or who among you here ang nakapunta na personally sa ating library? Ayan, you can just 
chat sa chat box type yes kung nakapunta na po kayo. Ayan. So sa mga nakapunta na, maraming maraming salamat po. Sa mga hindi pa naman po nakakapunta, well, this is your chance. Pwede na po kayong bumisita sa aming library. So, so bago tayo, bago kayo pumunta dito, tutor ko muna kayo. So we have the left and right wing of the library. So sa left wing, you can see the general reference and foreign titles. So anong makikita dito? You can see your materials on the general references. Ito yung mga encyclopedias, mga dictionaries, almanacs, yan. And then also, you can see here the foreign titles. <clears throat> yung ating mga foreign titles, foreign books, mga foreign serials, journals, and magazine. When you go to the right wing of the library, ang bubungad sa inyo yung Starbucks area. And you can see here all of the different versions of Starbucks. We have the Starbucks offline, yung Starbucks online, and all of the mobile apps. And then, kapag pumasok pa kayo, you can see the Filipiniana unit. So anong makikita nyo dito? You can see here the DOST publications, yung mga thesis and dissertations na ating mga DST scholars, and also mga investigatory projects, and mga local titles on serials, yan, mga journals, magazine, and also mga local o Filipiniana books. <clears throat> so you can also see here yung aming interactive space. So we do have 10 titles, uh, 10 computer units, and then we also have here VR box, mga virtual reality box, and also mga augmented reality uh, markers which are all located naman sa different sections ng library. When you go inside, pag dumiretso pa kayo dyan, you can see the digitization room. Ito yung nasa library ex extension namin. So this is where the magic happens. So we converted all of the print materials, pin uh, kinoconvert namin into its digital version. Ayan. You can see here the different um, high-end book scanner. We also have flatbed scanner. Yan. And then, kapag na-convert na namin yung mga print materials, meron, meron na siyang digital format, i-store na namin siya sa aming archives. So, this, uh, yung archives naman natin, this is for permanent storage na ating mga collections. So, sana na-excite kayo sa mga pinakita kong picture na ating different sections of the library. So, we do hope you can, we can see you here sa ating STI library. Maghihintay po kami sa inyo. So again, ano yung mga pwede nyo makita sa ating library? We all uh, we, we have DOST publications, investigatory projects, thesis and dissertations of DOST scholars, mga reference materials on science, technology, and innovation. Ito yung mga books and serials. So paano ba kayo makakabisit sa amin dito? Ayan. So you can book an appointment through this link. Ipopost din po namin to sa chat box later on. So just fill up this form, app.link slash stii-library slash online-booking. Ayan. So, fill up nyo lang yung form na to, kung anong specific date yung gusto nyo pong mag-visit dito sa amin. And then, you, can, uh, you will receive a confirmation email. So, sa so mga hindi naman makakapunta dito personally, huwag kayong mag-alala kasi you can still avail of our services. Pwede kayong mag-request sa amin ng material online. So, paano naman yan? Learn to use our online public access catalog in four easy steps. Napakadali. Four steps lang. Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph Click nyo lang, online public access catalog. Type your keyword or anong topic yung gusto nyong isearch dito sa amin. In the search bar, then click search. And then select the title of your choice. Make sure lang po na yung material is located at STII. And then copy the details and email it at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. Yung iba, in-screenshot lang yung, yung uh, details and then saka sa amin ini-email. So, ganun lang po kadali. So, ulitin natin, review. So, paano mag-avail ng online material request? Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. Wala pong, hindi po kailangan mag-login, no login required. So next, click nyo lang, Online Public Access Catalog. Third, type your keyword in the search bar and then click search. Example, you want to look for topics on innovation. Ayan, type nyo lang, innovation, and then click nyo yung search. 
Then after that, lalabas yung mga bibliographic details ng material and make sure that the location is in STAI. Makita nyo dito, location is, this material is located in STAI. Copy nyo lang to, ito mismo, kahit screenshot nyo yan. And then send it at library at stai.dust.gov.ph Di ba napakadali? Ayan. So kung may mga tanong pa kayo, mamaya iisa-isahin yan ni Miss Irene sa ating second topic. So kung gusto nyo naman maghanap ng other materials pa related on SNT or other topics, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung Philippine eLive portal. So ano ba tong Philippine eLive? The Philippine eLive is a collaborative project of the National Library of the Philippines University of the Philippines, Department of Science and Technology, Department of Agriculture, and the Commission on Higher Education. So ano yung mga makikita nyo na resources in Philippine eLive portal? So we have here a union catalog of the five partners, digitized Filipina na materials, mga special collections and researches of the five partners, and online resources to electronic databases. So, paano ito gamitin? Napakadali lang rin po. We just need to remember four things, four steps. Number one, go to elive.gov.ph. Type your keyword in the quick search bar, then click go. Select the material of your choice and click the title to view the record details. Check if a digital copy is available. Check nyo na kung may available na digital copy. If not, you can always contact the agency where the physical copy is located. So again, reviewin natin. Step number one, type nyo lang URL, elive.gov.ph. And then type your keyword, yung topic nyo na gusto mong search sa search bar. And then click nyo yung go. After that, select the material of your choice. Example, yung choice nyo is the basic science program. Ayan, click nyo lang yan. And then it will view the record details. Kapag na-view na yung record details, check if a digital copy is available. For example, like this one, may available siya. The material is located in UP, Diliman. So may available siyang PDF copy. Download nyo lang yan. So kung wala namang available na digital copy, you can always contact the agency where the material or the physical copy is located. So di ba, again, napakadali. So just a review, elive.gov.ph, type your keyword, click go, and then select the material. And then check if a digital copy is available. Ayan. So we hope you can use the our online public access catalog sa itong Philippine eLive portal. So that's all. So let's go naman sa ating mga publication, mga STII publication. Ano ano naman tong mga to? Sabi nga kanina, sabi ko kanina, number ang yung second uh, mandate namin is to disseminate SNT information. So we disseminate SNT information through our publication. So these are all free. Tandaan nyo, free for download at our website sa stii.dust.gov.ph. So isa-isahin natin itong mga to. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science or the PJS. This is the oldest scientific peer-reviewed journal in the Philippines na published to first published in 1906. Napakatagal na. Ayan, mas matanda pa sa mga lolo't lola natin. So this is a quarterly publication published by STAI. So ano bang makikita nyo in PJS? Uh, if you are looking for mga related studies sa inyong mga investigatory projects, mga researches on natural sciences, engineering, uh, mathematics, and social sciences, well, PJS is the one for you. Pwedeng-pwede niyong gamitin ang ating PJS. Kung naghahanap naman kayo ng mga news and featured articles on DOST's various programs ayan, mga, and how these have benefited our daily lives, in particular, pwede niyong gamitin ang SNT Post. Ano naman tong SNT Post? SNT Post is a quarterly publication of DOST produced by DOST SAI. So sabi ko kanina, kung naghahanap kayo ng mga, kung may assignment kayo on the different news on SNT, pwede niyong gamitin to SNT Post. Kung naghahanap naman kayo ng material on risk reduction, ayan, you can use the Red Book. Ano ba yung Red Book? Red Book stands for Reference for Emergency and Disaster Book. This is a handy tool of information about all possible natural hazards. Anong makikita nyo inside the Red Book? 
It contains description of different typhoons, mga floods, landslides, storm surges, earthquakes, tsunamis, and other type of disaster. So it includes mga practical tips on how to avert disasters and the things we need to do before, during, and after calamity strike. So magagamit niyo talaga to yung Red Book. We also have our newsletter. We have the DOST Digest. This is a monthly publication of SAI, which is in English. Kung kailangan nyo naman ng Tagalog, we have the Balitang Rapidos, which is also a monthly publication of STII written in the Filipino language. So ano ang laman ng DOST Digest at saka ng Balitang Rapidos? So it provides a condensed and easy to read news stories on science and technology. And then we have the SPEARS. The SPEARS stands for Specialized Philippine Enterprise Reference of Experts and Scientists. This, this is originally published as the Philippine Men of Science in 1964. Ayan, medyo na and then in 2013, to adopt a gender-sensitive title, the publication was renamed as the Philippine Men and Women of Science. So anong makikita nyo inside the SPEARS? It provides bio-bibliographic information of Filipino scientists and experts which serves as a specialized reference for the public. So kung may mga assignment kayo or curious lang kayo, ano ba yung mga contribution ng mga Filipino scientists, you can use this as a reference. So you can use SPEARS. And then we also have the Philippine SNT Abstract or the PSTA. So this is a semi-annual publication of STAI. So it is published uh, twice a year. So every June and then December. So ano ang laman ng PSTA? Kung naghahanap kayo ng mga featured abstracts of local SNT published researches, well, PSTA is the one for you. Magagamit nyo ang PSTA. So again, sabi mo kanina, lahat na to ay libre. You can all, uh, this is all free. You can download the full text version of the different publications sa aming website at stai.dost.gov.ph. Kung gusto nyo mag-subscribe, o gusto nyo makareceive regularly ng mga new publication ng STII, you can subscribe to our mailing list. Just go to tinyurl.com slash DOST newsletters. Yan. And then, nabanggit ko rin kanina, aside from the own, uh, our own publication and the library, we also promote SNT information through mobile apps. So, iisa-isahin natin to. Remember, lahat na to ay libre din. You can all... Download this for free sa Google Play Store. Just type DUST STAI. So let's start with the PJS mobile app. So if you are always on the go, hawak nyo lang palagi ang yung mga mobile devices, you can just download the PJS mobile app sa inyong mga mobile devices to browse the current and past issues ng PJS. You can also use the DOS TV mobile app kung gusto niyo mapanood yung mga past and current issues ng DOS TV programs you can download the DOS TV mobile app. We also have the science.ph mobile app. Yeah, kung gusto niyo makabalita ng mga bagong news on SNT, you can download science.ph mobile app. And then we also have the DOS T app. Ano may DOS T app? The DOST app gives you quick access to information on science, technology, and innovation from the DOST. Ayan, this is a handy tool to find practical solutions on the country's pressing problems and provide career and livelihood opportunities for every Filipino. So download yun na ang DOST app. And then we have, syempre, we have the Starbucks Quiz app. So this is available for elementary, high school, and college students. So kapag nasagot nyo yun ng tama yung aming 10 questions sa Starbucks app, may trivyang lalabas, and then you, can, uh, you will get your score. We also have the Starbucks mobile app. So syempre, kung merong offline version si Starbucks, merong online version, meron ding Starbucks mobile app. So sa mga, uh, lalo na ngayon sa mga estudyante, mga on uh, nag-undergo ng online classes, mas gamit nila yung mga mobile devices nila. So you can just download Starbucks mobile app to access all of the collections of Starbucks. At kung gusto nyo malocate kung saan ba may nearest Starbucks kiosk sa inyo, sa inyong province, you can download the Starbucks GU Map app. 
So it will locate kung nasaan yung nearest Starbucks site kiosk on your, um, ba, kahit sa barangay man yan, sa city man yan, sa province niyo man yan. And then, ito yung latest, we have the Starbucks Wish app. So ano naman yung Starbucks Wish app? So we challenge you to download the Starbucks Quiz app. So unlike dun sa Starbucks Quiz app kanina na meron 10, 10 quizzes, may 10 questions, yung Quiz app naman, you can challenge your classmates, pwede to ba, uh, within your um within your group, mga friends nyo, pwede niyo i-challenge yung isa't isa with the Starbucks Quiz app. So mamaya iisa-isahin to sa third topic natin, iisa-isahin to ni Sir RJ. So remember, all of these mobile apps are all free. Libre po. You can uh, download this for free at Google Play Store. Type nyo lang, DUSTSAI at the search bar. So we do hope that you can all download our mobile apps. Libre po lahat ito. And we hope you enjoy using it. And then, we disseminate SNT information through websites. Ayan, ang dami naming websites. So we do hope you can visit each of uh, each website. So first we have the Philippine Journal of Science. So we have here Phil Journal Sci that dust.gov.ph. We also have the website for DUSTB. So, so just go to dustb.ph. You can also visit the science.ph website. Just go to science.ph. And then we have the Spears website, just go to spears.dust.gov.ph. We also have the Starbucks online, just go to portal.starbucks.ph. And you can have the link to, our, to all of our website, just visit the STII website at stii.dust.gov.ph. So isa-isayin natin yung mga websites. So if you'd like to visit the Philippine Journal of Science website, just go to Phil Journal Sci. Ayan, type nyo lang sa URL, philjournalsci.dust.gov.ph. Click nyo yung publication. We have here the regular issues sa mga special issues. And then you can now access the current issues, next issues, and past issues of PJS. You can also visit the website of DOSTB. Type nyo lang sa URL dostv.ph Ayan, so you can just uh, review here, access nyo yung mga past programs, episodes ng DOSTV. We have here the DOST report, expert talk online, negosyensya, sinusyensya, mong special coverage, expert talk, sinusikat, and animagham. And then, for science.ph, type nyo lang, science.ph. Ayan, for for current ish, uh, mga current news on SNT, mga latest news on SNT. And then for spheres, para sa ating mga Filipino scientists to know their uh, contribution in the Philippines in our country, just go to spheres.dust.gov.ph. And for online version of Starbucks, just go to portal.starbucks.ph. So, Para ma-access nyo yung Starbucks online, you need to log in or create or sign up an account. So click nyo lang to. If you will see here on the arrow, nakalagay dyan, log in here to explore Starbucks online. Click nyo lang yan. And then, madadirect kayo dito sa starbucks.ph login form. Just create an account. Kung may existing account na kayo, just log in your account. And then you can now access the collection of Starbucks online. So ano-ano yung mga collections? We have here the D Tamang Descarte Livelihood videos, K-12 materials, science for safer communities, yung mga nuclear technology um, inform information, investigatory projects, yung mga past and current issues ng PJS. We have the math and science educational videos, SNT News, Food and Nutrition, Agriculture, Energy, Freedom of Information, and Science, science School Facts. Ayan. So, isa-isa yung tumamaya sa ating third topic ni Sir RJ. And then, na isa-isa na natin, we have the different services na library, yung ating mga own publication, yung ating mga websites, mga mobile apps, 
Now let's go to ating, sa ating social media accounts. So we do hope you can like and follow us on the Facebook page. We have DOST Philippines. We have DOST Science and Technology Information Institute. We have Science and Technology Information Institute Library. We have DOST Info Service, DOST TV, DOST Starbucks, Philippine Journal of Science, and Science Journal Ako. You can also follow us sa aming Instagram account at DOST underscore STII sa DOSTBPH and DOST.STII.Library and follow us on Twitter sa DOST underscore STII, DOSTBPH and STII underscore library. And you can also subscribe sa aming YouTube channel sa DOST STII, DOST TV and DOST STII library. So tulungan niyo po kami mong disseminate ng SNT information sa ating mga social media accounts. Maraming salamat. And now, we go to the second to the last part. So we disseminate SNT information through broadcasting. So we are inviting you all to please watch Expert Talk online every Wednesday at 5 p.m. live at DOSTB FB page at facebook.com slash DOSTBPH and DOSTB Science for the People YouTube channel. We would also like to invite you to watch every Friday yung DOST report at 4 p.m. live at DOSTB Facebook page at DOSTB PH and DOSTB Science for the People YouTube channel. And every Saturday at 8 a.m. live at CNN, manood po kayo ng CNC Cat. Pinoy Popular Science para sa lahat. This is every Saturday at 8 a.m. live at CNN with reruns on Saturday at 4 p.m. and on Sunday at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. So kapag hindi nyo napanood yung live broadcast sa CNN ng Saturday ng 8 a.m., may mga reruns naman yan during the Saturday and Sunday. So sana po makapanood kayo ng mga sessions namin. And yung third Monday namin, we undertake training on SNT information. So among the topics that we cover are science journalism, basic photography, library literacy program, just like this one, and digitization of print material. So sabi ko kanina, kung gusto niyo ng updates, kung kailan kami nagkakandak, uh, magkakandak ng mga webinars, trainings, or uh, seminars, ayan. So follow niyo lang kami sa aming mga social media accounts. And kung may tanong pa kayo, you can always ask DOST in Busor Bilis. Ayan, impormasyong tama at maaasahan. So online client service to na sumasagot sa mga katanungan tukol sa mga programa, proyekto, produkto at servisyo ng DOST. So kung may mga tanong kayo, gusto nyo, lang, gusto nyo itanong kung paano ba uh, mag-apply ng scholarship, nasaan yung mga laboratories, ano yung mga available um, services ng iba't ibang agency ng DOST, you can always go sa aming Facebook page sa DOST in Pusorbilis. Message nyo lang po kami kung ano yung tanong nyo and then we will answer you. Ayan. You can also go sa website ng DOST in Pusorbilis at inpusorbilis.science.ph Ayan, may chat box dyan. Hi, how can we help you? Type nyo lang dyan kung ano yung gusto nyo tanong sa amin and we will answer that. So, we hope you learned something new today sa mga alam na yung mga services namin at nakapag-avail na. Maraming salamat po. Sa mga hindi pa, hihintayin namin yung mga request nyo. So again, this is Lynn Derlit and Maglaki. Thank you for listening. Let's stay connected. Contact us now. Thank you, everyone. Bobcat 1-2, moderate to heavy precipitation, 12 o'clock, 2 zero miles. Pangarap ko talaga magkaroon ng sarili kong negosyo. Kaso, bago matupad yun, kailangan ko muna ng makinarya at financial assistance. Pangarap ko maging scientist balang araw. Kaso lang, alam kong gipit si Enay ngayon. Saan kaya mayroong scholarship? 
kung mayroon ng sana mapagkatanungan kung saan pwedeng humingi ng tulong. Hanggang sa nasagot niya ang aking mga kahilingan. Iniahandog ng Department of Science and Technology ang isang Unified Information Delivery System na DOST InfoServilis. Isa itong online client service na layong sagutin ang anumang katanungan nyo na may kinalaman sa mga gawain, proyekto at serbisyo ng DOST. Ang InfoServilis ay para sa mga estudyante, scholarship grantees, professionals, mga mananaliksik, inventor, siyentipiko, negosyante, technology managers, at volunteers. Maaari kang magtanong tungkol sa mga scholarships, laboratorio, research grants, at call for proposals. Maaari magtungo sa aming official Facebook page para gamitin ang InfoServilis. At iklik lamang ang message now at dadali ka rito sa aming Facebook chat at pwedeng pwede ka nang magtanong na may kinalaman sa DOST. Maaari ka rin magtungo at magtanong sa DOST Philippines Facebook page. Inulunsad ang DOST InfoServilis dahil layunin itong matulungan ka tulad din na Egan at Liz. Ang dali at ang bilis, ba? Diba? Ano pang hinihintay mo? Magtanong na sa aming go-to communication platform, DOST InfoServilis. I-like at i-follow ang aming official Facebook page para sa iba pang mga impormasyon. Maaari din kaming makontak sa email na makikita sa iyong screen. Para sa impormasyong masaligan at mabilis, DOST InfoServilis.
Alright, so maraming salamat from Gender for summarizing the products and services of the DOSDSDII. So nailista niyo ba yung mga yung mga resources na nabanggit kaniya ni Ma'am Gender? Don't worry because the session will be uploaded sa aming YouTube channel. So pwedeng pwede niyo pong balik-balikan. And in case may mga students na hindi naka-attend today, uh, they can rewatch the recording sa aming YouTube channel. Ayan. And just to repeat, isa po sa mandato ng DOST STII ang pag-promote at ang pag-disseminate ng science, technology, and innovation information uh, to the public. And we really hope that through this program, uh, we could encourage more students at syempre mga teachers to maximize the use of these free resources. And so again, if you have any questions, please feel, please feel free to send it through the Q&A uh, button down below. Ayan. And please also don't forget to answer your attendance form through the link posted by Ms. Jove Humalon sa ating chat box. Ayan. So, i-click niyo lamang po ang link na yan. Okay. So, uh, moving on, our next topic will give you a more detailed explanation on how to research in the library, the ways and tips to navigate the OPA or the online public access catalog. So, here is Ms. Irene Alice for the second part of the session. Ms. Irene? Hello, good afternoon everyone. Ayan. Uh, sino po sa inyo ang may extra gadget dyan? Uh, tablet, desktop, or uh, mobile phone na may internet? Kindly type yes if you have extra gadgets with you. Ayan. Para sabayan nyo ako in uh, navigating our online public access catalog. Ayan. Sabi ni Alona. Yes. Alondra, sorry. Yes, meron po pang iba sa inyo na may extra gadget. Ayan. Okay. Thank you. Ayan. So, let me just share my screen. Okay. Okay, can you see my skin? As screen clearly. Nakikita nyo ba? Yes po. Yes. Okay, thank you. Ayan. So, if you have extra gadgets with you, first, let's go to uh, the online public access catalog of the DOST STII. So, just type in your browser, sign it, that uh, dost.gov.ph Ayan. Sign it at dost.gov.ph Ayan. Sabayan nyo ako. So, this is the interface of our online public access catalog. Ayan. Mapapansin nyo po, hindi niya nakuha yung buong screen, no? Uh, but currently, we are um, updating our system. So, iaayos na natin yung interface. Because this um, system has been developed in the 1980s. And hanggang ngayon naman, uh, ginagamit natin siya. But yes, we will be having a new version of this online public access catalog with better interface. Next, let's go to online public access catalog or OPAC. So click lang po natin yun. Ayan. And mapansin nyo po may login details na nakalagay dito. Just disregard this one. Hindi nyo po kailangang mag-login or mag-register to use or to navigate our online public access catalog. Now, in navigating our online public access catalog, we have two ways. First, we have the quick search. And later, we'll uh, use the expert search. Now, for a quick search, uh, this is uh, the same when you are using the uh, Google's uh, Google Chrome's basic search. So just key in your topic or your subject and then click search. Ayan. Ano ang subject natin ngayon sa science? Sige, mag-chat nga kayo. What's your topic or what is your favorite topic in science? Aantayin ko kung anong uh, each chat nyo. Just chat. Astronomy, sabi ni Abby. Gusto, gusto mo ng stars? Ayan. So, let's try. Abby's favorite. 
That's astronomy. So, i-click lang natin si astronomy. I mean, i-key-in lang natin siya and then click search. And for the topic on astronomy, we have 170 results. Ayan, nakita nyo? And these materials are represented by these icons on this side. Now, uh, in the library, we have different uh, types of resources. Um, and uh, we have here the icons representing them. For this icon, this uh, represents the books. This uh, icon represents technical reports. This icon represents analytics, or these are actually articles that are taken from the serials. Serials are magazines and journals. We also have here nine print materials. So we have here reprints. We also have here investigatory projects. Alam ko magagaling na ang iba sa inyo na gumawa nito, no? And then we also have this thesis. Uh, the thesis and dissertation that we have are the outputs of our DOST scholars. So, uh, balang araw pag gumawa kayo ng thesis, uh, malalagay din dito sa library natin ang kopya ng ginawa ninyo. We also have these uh, four vertical files or these are usually brochures. Okay, so for example, we are interested in this uh, materials. So this is an article. We just need to click this and we will be able to read the bibliographic record of the material. The bibliographic record will include, yes, the complete title of the material, the location of the material. Now, the online public access catalog or the uh, DOST signet is a union catalog of the different DOST attached agencies, meaning um, from this uh, portal, you can see the resources uh, that are housed in the different DOST agencies. So for STII, we can only provide you with materials that are located in STII. Ayan. Nakita nyo po ba? Okay. I hope nakita nyo yung itong nakikita ko. Ayan. Sabi ni Abby, opo. Thank you for being responsive and participative. Ayan. Next po is... Okay. For example, libro naman. Let's check this out. Ayan. Kapag libro, okay, for this book, Yearbook of Astronomy 1966. Oh, mag maganda tong basahin, no? This is located in Region 7. At ang Region 7 ay nasa... Ayan, nasa Cebu. Ayan. Malapit ba kayo doon? Okay, so ayun po. Da, ganun lang po kadali gamitin si Quick Search. Okay, next, we have the Expert Search. Ayan, so okay na tayo. Thumbs, pa thumbs up naman dyan kung okay na tayo sa uh, Quick Search. Ah, wala. May reaction ba dito? May reaction button ba dito? Okay, ayan, may thumbs up si Abby. Ayan, thank you sa inyo. Okay, so move na tayo sa expert search. For expert search naman, ang kagantahan ni expert search ay meron siyang delimiters. Uh, so first, we have here a dropdown. And you can, if you know the exact title of the material, you can just key in the title. So click title and then key in the title here. If uh, you are you know the author, gen, just uh, encode the author, surname first or family name first. Next is subject. Uh, ayan. So kung tap, may topic na kayo, ayan, ayan, in, input nyo lang dyan. And then if you know the uh, date of publication of the material, then you just key in the date of publication. Or if uh, yung ilalagay nyo dito is part of the content, then you just key in here and then click content. Okay? Now, for example, sabi kanina ni... Uh, CDI Organic Chemistry. So for example... We are looking for materials on organic chemistry. Ayan. And dito sa kabilang drop down, you can choose if you're interested to read on analytics or articles only. Just click analytics. If you're interested to 
uh, read books, then click books. Uh, if you're interested to non-print materials, then click this one and so on. Okay, so for this time, let's just click all material types. Okay, and we have here Boolean operators. Boolean operators ang tawag natin dito sa and or not. And means uh, the um, topic or the subject you key in here and in here should be found in only one material. So halimbawa, or, uh, organic chemistry and um, ano ba, elements. Elements. Ayan. And you can display as much as 50 records per page. Now let's check. If we have materials that has both organic chemistry and elements as a uh, subject. Wala. <laughs> okay, so since wala, we need to refine our uh, search. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, for example, ayan, ang nilagay natin kanina is organic chemistry, tama? And then, uh, ang gagamitin naman natin ngayon ay, or, ibig sabihin ng or, either organic chemistry or elements ang lalabas. Okay, let's click search. Ayan. So, we have 267 results. So, ibig lang pong sabihin, yung magkasama ang elements at organic chemistry, wala tayong ganun na material. But, uh, for materials that either either have um, organic chemistry or elements uh, as part of the content, meron tayong 267 results. Ayan. And the difference between the quick search and the expert search is in here, you don't need to open the uh, bibliographic record of the material to see its location. So nakalagay na po dito, ang location is STII. Okay? Ayan. So karamihan sa kanila, STII, no? yung nakakita natin dito. Okay, now... Uh, if you want to have a peek of the content of the material, you just click the title and ayan siya. So uh, for this particular uh, book entitled Environmental Science, nandito po yung table of contents. So for example, part of uh, the uh, um, topic you're looking for is inside this uh, table of content, then uh, you can suggest uh, or you can request for the material. Okay. Ang limitation lang po natin kapag libro in adherence to copyright law and intellectual property right is that we can only provide you with a chapter of the book that you need. So isang chapter lang. That's why um, if you're going to request from us, we will be sending back the table of contents and we will ask you to choose which chapter you need and that will be the chapter that we're going to send back to you via email okay so clear po ba tayo doon i hope we are ayan pag books yun po yung limitations natin okay going back gamitin naman natin ngayon si not okay so gusto natin si organic chemistry but not, ayan, ibig sabihin hindi niya, uh, ang gusto lang natin talaga is si organic chemistry. Wala nang iba. Ayan. Let's click search. So kanina, kung either organic or elements 267, tingnan natin ngayon. Kapag organic lang. Ayan, kapag organic chemistry lamang, uh, we have 138 records and these are ayun non-print materials at ayan makikita nyo po dito download full text ibig sabihin nasa amin yung digital copy of the material okay so yun po ang kagandahan ni non-print kasi kasi nga non-print so we have the digital copy Okay, so ganun lang po kadaling gamitin si expert search at saka si uh, basic search. And as we go on, you can just uh, key in your questions. 
sasagutan natin yan later. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, ha, I think we're good with our online public access catalog. Next, I'll be showing you the Philippine eLive. Katulad ng binanggit ni Ma'am Linder, Philippine eLive is a collaborative project of the National Library of the Philippines, the University of the Philippines, uh, DOST, Department of Agriculture, and Commission on Higher Education. And katulad po ng ating online public access catalog, si Philippine eLive meron din siyang basic search and advanced search. So, meron siyang quick search din dito. Okay? And you can just click basic search. Ayan ang lalabas. So, ang pagkakaiba lang namin, uh, we have a subject, title, ganon. Dito naman, you can uh, key in here um, something. Ayan, gusto nyo bang mag-try mag tayo ng ano? ng paborito nyo yung subject. Ayan. Kasi si Abby lang tsaka si Siti ang nag-message eh. Anong paborito nyo yung subject sa science? Try natin hanapin dito sa Philippine eLive. Ayan. So, dito po, uh, uulitin ko po yung sinabi ni Ma'am Linder sa Philippine eLive. Uh, ito po ang mga agencies or uh, na contributor sa content ng eLive. And for example, gusto nating makita lahat yung collection ng mga nandito to a specific topic or subject. Ayan, gamitin ulit natin si organic chemistry kasi wala, wala hindi nyo ba paborito ang science? <laughs> Ayan, so for organic chemistry, meron tayong 806 result. Ayan, nag-chat si Christian. Okay, and uh, dito naman po, Pag kinlik nyo yung title, makikita nyo po yung bibliographic data ng material and yung physical location ng material. So for this uh, specific title, this is located in Dilaman. And ayan, makikita nyo din po if it has digital copy or uh, not. Ayan. Ang kagandahan po nito, if you have or if you will be given an opportunity, you can visit these different libraries. Okay? Ayan. Now, si Advanced Search naman, ito naman siya. Meron din siyang ganito, katulad ng pinakita ko kanina sa ating online public access catalog. But uh, dito, mas marami siyang uh, pwedeng ilagay. So, kung alam niyo yung ISBN or ISSN, ayan, pwede nyo pong ilagay. Okay. So, ayan, pwede nyo din gamitin si and or and or. Ayan, may delimitation din, uh, delimiter din ng year. Ayan, kung halimbawa gusto nyo sa DOST lang, manggaling yung material, then just click DOST. Okay. And, ayan din, meron din po tayong material type dito. So, just remember na ang analytics are uh, uh, articles taken from the uh, journals and magazines. Okay, you also have here an option to um, choose if you want to uh, see uh, materials that has digital content only. Yan. So, try natin si agriculture. And, uh, ha, subject na lang. And, um, oh, sorry. Anong kasama nyong, ay, anong gusto nyong kasama ni agriculture? Fertilizer? <laughs> okay. And then, ayan. Sir, uh, let's just click, siguro dito tayo, ayan. And click search. Try natin. Okay, so for subject, agriculture and fertilizer, meron lang tayong tatlong record. Ayan. At ito ay nasa STII. At meron siyang digital copy. And for this one, you can readily download the digital copy of the material. Andito siya. Oh. So pag nag-green yan, ibig sabihin, pwede siyang ma-download there. Ayan. So, okay po ba? Wait. Hanapin ko yung uh, 
Ayan, para mabasa natin. Okay, so ayan. Fertilizer experiments with sugar cane. And, wow, ang tagal na nito. Okay, so ganun po si Philippine eLive. Kapag available yung kanyang digital copy, downloadable siya. Check nyo lang siya. Pag naman po restricted, like for example, the thesis and materials, yun po, uh, you can only uh, access the thesis. I, I mean, thesis abstract. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, pwede nyo pong itry, i-navigate si uh, DOST Signet and Philippine eLive. Now, uh, katulad ng sinabi ni Ma'am Leader, if you have assignments on... Uh, Philippine experts and scientists, pwede po kayong magpunta dito sa spheres.dost.gov.th. Ayan, kung may kilala po kayong scientist, ayan, sa mga, uh, sa mga gumagawa po, I, I mean, sa mga may uh, extra gadget po ngayon, ayan, pwede po kayong pumunta sa spheres.dost.gov.th and try nyo pong mag-search yung mga kilala ninyo na scientists and experts and or experts. Ngayon, Kung halimbawa po may scientist kayong kilala na hindi pa nakalagay ang profile niya dito at gusto po niyang maisama, then pwedeng-pwede siya pong mag-send sa amin ng message. Okay po? Para maidagdag po namin ang biobibliography niya dito sa spheres. Okay? So, nababasa po dito yung um, biobibliography, uh, autobiography, not auto pala kasi self yung auto no bio bibliography ng uh, expert ayan at kapag kayo po ay gumagawa ng investigatory project at kailangan ninyo ng consultant pwede po kayong maghanap din dito kasi may iba po dito na available sila for consultation okay ayan and ito po ang ating uh, oldest na hanggang ngayon ay uh, Meron pa din ang Philippine Journal of Science. Meron na po tayong uh, digital copy dito mismo sa uh, philjournalsci.dost.gov.ph. So kung gusto niyo pong magbasa ng mga researches, ayan, just click po yung mga yung titles and lalabas po yan. You can read online or you can download this one and then you can read it later. Para kahit offline kayo, you can read. Okay? Ayan, si Philippine Journal of Science. Okay, kung may kakilala naman po kayo na may mga nagawa ng research, ayan, pwede po silang mag-submit din ng articles. Just contact, ayan, dito lang po, contact uh, Philippine Journal of Science. Ayan. And, ayan, ito po, we also have this um, subscription. Ayan, si sciencedirect.com. Ayan, sa mga uh, sumasabay po sa akin na mag-search, pwede punta po tayo sa sciencedirect.com. Si sciencedirect.com is uh, a subscription data, subscription based database. However, they offer open on open access content. Open access content are materials that are uh, that has available digital copy already. Okay? So halimbawa ngayon, hindi ako naka-register, hindi ako naka-sign in. Uh, gagamitin lang natin itong site na to. So for example, ayan, ano ang gusto nyong topic na hanapin naman natin ngayon? So tapos na tayo sa astronomy, organic chemistry, and agriculture. Okay, anong gusto nyong hanapin naman ngayon? Meron ba? Ayan. May assignment ba kayo ngayon? La. Plant diversity. Okay. Plant diversity. Okay. So, for the topic on plant diversity, meron tayong 299,190 results. Dami, no? Ang maganda dito, you can uh, refine your search. Halimbawa, gusto lang natin yung mga na-publish ng 2022. Ayan siya. Okay. So, makikita natin dito. Ayan. Ito po yung sinasabi ko na open access. May nakalagay dyan na open access and download PDF. Meaning, you can easily, you can readily read, read the material. But, for example, this one, wala ang nakalagay na um, download full text. Uh, pwedeng-pwede nyo pong i-request din sa amin to. 
Okay? So, ang kailangan lang po ninyo is to copy this one, the title, the complete title of the article, and kahit uh, isang author lang, and then send it to us via email. Or, ayan, katulad ng sinabi ni Ma'am Linder, uh, may mga nag-screenshot lang po. So, pwedeng-pwede nyo pong i-screenshot yan and then i-send nyo po sa amin sa aming email. Katulad din po, halimbawa, this one. Okay. Sa ating OPAC, uh, ito po yung how, how you're going to request, no? Uh, kung halimbawa po, STII, nakita nyo sila lahat STII, pwede nyo po ang screenshot ng buo ito. So, hindi nyo na kailangan isulat isa-isa. You can just screenshot this one and send it to us via email. Our email is library at stii.dost.gov.ph So, that is library at stii.dost.gov.ph Ayan. So, you can just screenshot this one and send it to us via email. Even here. Okay? Ayan. So, may gusto pa ba kayong hanapin dito sa Science Direct? Okay. Ayan. Wala na? Wala na kayong gusto hanapin? Okay. So, um, ganyan lang po kadaling gamitin si Science Direct. Again, uh, if you have materials na nakita nyo dito sa Science Direct and um, wala siyang digital copy na available, you can just screenshot the title and uh, send it to us via email at library at stii.tost.gov.ph Now, for example, uh, hindi nyo na maalala yung ating uh, email address, then uh, hanapin nyo lang po kami sa Facebook. This is our Facebook page, Science and Technology Information Institute Library. Ayan, nagpo-post po kami dito din ng at aming mga activities. Like uh, for this one, we will be having a webinar on uh, April 29, 2022. Kung may kakilala kayo na gustong mag-join dito, then um, ayan, mag uh, i-click lang po itong uh, link to register. Ayan. So, pwede nyo din pong isend dito uh, sa Facebook page namin ang inyong request. Just make sure to include also your email address sapagkat ang material na uh, easy send back namin sa inyo ay uh, sa email namin ay papadala. Okay? Now, for example naman, hindi nyo mahanap yung email address ng Science and Technology Information Institute Library, pwede din po kayong pumunta sa DOST Philippines. Si DOST Philippines naman, ayan, ay sumasagot sa lahat ng um, inquiry about DOST. Okay, so again, si DOST po ay sumu uh, sinasagot lahat ng uh, inquiry tungkol sa DOST. Hindi lang po sa library, kundi po sa DOST. So pwede ka po kayong mag-message dito and then tanungin po ninyo ang email address ng library para makapagpadala po kayo ng request. Okay? At katulad po ng sinabi kanina sa video, meron din po tayong DOST Info Service. Ang Info Service naman, Ayan, katulad din po siya ni DOST Philippines. So, dito po, you can just send a message. Ayan, sinasagot po namin dito ang mga katanungan katulad ng uh, yung mga scholarship na offered ng DOST or yung mga laboratories na offered ng DOST. So, pwedeng-pwede po kayong magtanong dito. Okay? Ayan. So, meron na kayong iba't ibang platforms. So, we have the Science and Technology Information Institute Library. We also have the DOST Philippines and we have the Info Serbilis. Okay? Now, our library is open from Mondays to Fridays, 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We will be entertaining your request from 8 to 5 or within the 8 working hours. And... Um, Unfortunately, wala, pong, uh, wala po tayong overtime. So, uh, kapag po nag-fall on a weekend or on a holiday yung inyong request sa amin, we will be getting back to you on the next working day. Ayan. So, ang katanungan, kapag po ba nag-request kami ngayon, kailan nyo kami sasagutin? Ayan. Uh, for example, this one. Ayan. Uh, nag-request siya. Uh -huh. 
nag-request siya via sa uh, via Starbucks. Ayan. So, pwede din po si Starbucks ipapadala din sa amin. Ayan. So, uh, na-receive namin yung query March 21 ng 3.30 p.m. Kaya sin... Ah, sorry. Na-receive namin yung query. Hindi pala nakalagay dito kung kailan, no? Pero nasagot namin siya 3.13 p.m. Let's... Uh, Let's check another request. Pero bago yan, ayan. So, ito po, yung nire-request po niya, this is one of our limitation. For a thesis and dissertation, we cannot provide you the full text of the material. This is in adherence still to copyright law. Uh, we can only, or you can only access the full text of the thesis kapag nandito po kayo, kaya bumisita po kayo dito. Ayan. Kaya ang ginawa po namin, dahil wala pong, uh, hindi po namin maibigay ang thesis sa kanya, hanap po kami ng uh, other researches na related doon sa topic niya. Yun yung isi-send namin sa kanya. That's why, uh, halimbawa po, wala kayong nakitang uh, material dito sa online public access catalog natin doon sa hinahanap ninyo. As long as it is related to science, technology, and innovation, hahanapan po namin kayo ng reading material na related po sa topic na yon. So you can just send us a request. Sabihin nyo lang po, I am looking for materials related to this topic. And then, maghahanap po kami ng pwedeng i-send sa inyo. Okay? Ayan. And then, let me check. Uh, okay. Ayan, si Paul. Ayan, nagre-request siya ng... Uh, this is a serial or uh, an article. At nag-request siya March 21, 1.54pm. And ayan, sinagot namin siya ng 3 o'clock p.m. Okay, so... Uh, in our library, we are given eight working hours to respond to your queries. So, hindi po pwedeng antayin namin ng dalawang araw, tatlong araw para bago kami makapag-respond sa inyo. So, as long as we have the digital copy, then we will send back to you. Pero kung wala yung digital copy, we will look for materials related to your topic. Or if uh, the material is a foreign material, we will be... Um, digitizing or scanning the chapter that you need and then we will be sending back that digital copy to you. Okay? And, ayan, to make our services better, meron din tayong feedback form na pinapafill out. We will be happy to hear from you uh, your uh, feedback on our services. And we will also be happy uh, to read here um, your uh, requested materials to be um, to be acquired kasi po uh, we want uh, and we are doing our best to meet all your your uh, needs however ayan kulang kami since wala po kaming curriculum na um, fina follow at kayo meron po kayo noon so for example you have this specific titles of materials that uh, you need then you can just request you can add it here in our feedback form kasi may space doon kung saan niyo ilalagay so that we will be able to consider that in our next acquisition okay ayan so i guess uh that's where my uh nav presentation and ayan, once again if you have any questions just chat and uh, I'll be answering during our Q&A portion. Okay? Thank you so much everyone. Thank you for participating. Back to you Miss Louie. Yeah, so maraming salamat Miss Aileen for that very detailed presentation and again to access our OPAC just visit signet.ust.gov.au PH and for on the screen, please visit www.sciencedirect.com. And for your material request, just send us an email at library at sdii.dost.gov.ph. At gaya nga ng sabi ni Ms. Aileen, marami po kayong pwedeng i-explore ng mga resources. Meron tayo yung PJS o yung Philippine Journal of Science. Meron tayong Philippine eLive at saka ang SPEARS. Yeah, so pwede nyo nang uh, explore sa inyo para sa inyong mga projects or outputs. 
Yan. At kung meron kayong mga DOST-related questions or science, STI-related inquiries, pwede pa rin kayong mag-send ng messages sa Facebook pages ng DOST Inquisitor Release, DOST Philippines, at DOST STII Library Facebook page. Yan. At um, amin, again, ang amin pong official working hours ay every Mondays to Fridays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And in case na-receive po namin ang inyong inquiry, uh, during the weekends or on a holiday, kami po ay nakapag-respond lang uh, the next working day. Yan. Again, uh, now we are down to our last topic. But before that, let's all watch these Starbucks and commercials. Information is power. Access to information is critical. School children in remote areas hardly get access to good libraries. What more to the internet? All children, regardless of gender, economic, and social status, have the right to information, including SMT information, information that would inspire them to become future doctors, inventors, engineers, entrepreneurs, researchers, and more. Starbucks is here to bridge the information divide. Starbucks, or the science and technology academic and research-based openly operated kiosks, is the first Philippine SNT digital library in a box with thousands of science and technology information materials from all over the world. Developed by the men and women of DOST Science and Technology Information Institute in 2011, Starbucks capsulized the DOST STII's library into a digital box. Demand for this innovative and beneficial digital resource rose steadily, especially in economically marginalized schools and last mile communities in the country. Through the years, Starbucks has worked with key industry players. From collection to dissemination of information, these partners have worked together with Starbucks in making a difference on how Filipinos view science and technology today. That is why award-giving bodies here and abroad have recognized Starbucks' vital contributions to the society. As of October 2020, Starbucks can be found in almost 4,900 sites in all 17 regions, staying true to its mission of reaching the grassroots. So, wherever you are in the country, whatever language you speak, and whether you're a student, a parent, a teacher, an employee, or a social worker, get ready for Starbucks! Partner with us, and together, let us bring science for the people. Starbucks, as you know it, is an offline data bank of science and technology information who once developed an online version for your PC and has evolved this time to conquer your mobile phones. Introducing Starbucks Mobile Apps. With your Android phone, experience the brightest Starbucks yet. Bringing you not just one, but three mobile applications. One, never mess with search engines again. Use the Starbucks online mobile app. Access legit science and technology data from Starbucks Online wherever you are. Just connect to the internet. Download the app. 
register at the sign up page. Key in your details. Once done, all you've got to do on the main page is to simply click on the icons and explore the vast array of ST info materials at your fingertips. Search all you want. It's also available with the Starbucks online mobile app. Two, take on the challenge. Take on the Starbucks quiz. Starbucks brings you the most sought after exhibit at the National Science and Technology Week. Students, teachers, parents, and science whizzes out there, download the Starbucks quiz today. Choose your difficulty level. Have fun and learn science and technology stuff at the same time. Be the first to play the Starbucks quiz and take advantage of the gamified version coming soon. 3. Finding Starbucks has never been this easy with the Starbucks Geo Map. Ever wonder where and how many Starbucks there are exactly? This comprehensive map locates every single Starbucks site in a barangay, town, city, province, region, and in the whole country. You can even search for the nearest Starbucks like a good navigator you are. So if you love Starbucks and maps, download the Starbucks Geo Map. Now's the time to gear up your phone with the Starbucks mobile apps. Get them on Google Play. And don't forget to like Starbucks on Facebook. In an attempt to contain the spread of COVID-19, schools were temporarily closed. Students now learn from home. Demand for online learning resources shoots up. Question is, how much can you trust your information source? Fret not, for Starbucks is now online. Starbucks, or the science and technology academic and research-based, openly operated kiosks, is an offline site with full suite science and technology information resources. Today, Starbucks has been tailored fit for you. The wealth of knowledge contained in the country's first ST offline digital library in a box, now accessible online. Accessing information in Starbucks online is as easy as one, two, three. One, go to the Starbucks online portal via www.starbucks.ph. 2. Sign up by clicking the upper right portion of the main page. You will be directed to the login page. Click Sign Up Here and key in your details. 3. Click Submit and you're on your way to enjoying Starbucks online. Imagine a mountain of learning resources and there is Starbucks, a beaming gold on the internet scene contains tons of SDI information that are fun, legit, and easy to dig. From SNT news, to agriculture, to livelihood, and up to disaster preparedness. Say it! Starbucks has it! Try Starbucks online and take advantage of this free, full suite, and fingertip-ready access to the brightest Starbucks yet. Visit Starbucks online portal now and be at the forefront of science and technology information. Get to know Starbucks more. Like our Facebook page. Okay, so yan po ang uh, Starbucks infomercials. And we will explain how to navigate the Starbucks offline, online, mobile app, quiz app, quiz app, and how to avail. Here's the video presentation of Mr. RJC Escondo, our information systems researcher. Okay. Magandang araw po sa lahat and welcome ulit sa ating online library literacy program. So, narito po ako ngayon para ipakilala sa inyo si Starbucks. So, kanina, uh, pinakilala na po si STII maging ang ating library. Ang ating library po ay matatanggupuan 
sa bikutan tagig. So ito po yung isang challenge natin when it comes to information access. Uh, ang bikutan tagig po ay medyo may kalayuan sa karamihan ng ating mga information seekers. Uh, at bukod doon, isa rin siya sa may matrapik na area. So dito tayo nagkaka-problem uh, yung tinatawag nating gap between the information seekers o yung ating mga researchers at yung ating content na matatagpuan sa library. So, uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin? So, ang ginawa namin or ng STII is to bring the library resources sa ating mga information seekers. So, papunta na sa inyo. It's the other way around na. So, paano natin ginawa yun? Ito po ang kaya, kaya na buo si Starbucks. So, si Starbucks po ay isang digital library na kung sa ayanan natin sa tradisyonal, yung mga libro natin, ginawa natin siyang, aprenasis natin siya into digital forms para pwede na natin siyang uh, ipamahagi sa iba't ibang nangangailangan. Uh, bukod dito, once digital ka na, pwede na siya ng sabay-sabay gamitin or tinatawag natin multiple access. Pangalawa, si Starbucks po ay offline or hindi na nangangailangan ng internet connections. Uh, so, pangatlo, uh, mobile na siya. So, it's called a library in a box. Uh, Trinay natin siyang gawing mobile. So, anywhere, even the remote areas, pwede nating mapuntahan. At higit sa lahat, ang system po ni Starbucks ay pinamamahagi na atin sa ating mga institution or eskwelahan ng libre. Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Uh, gusto natin mag-create ng interest sa science and technology ang ating mga kabataan at uh, later on is mag-enroll sila into science and technology courses. Uh, sunod is magkaroon tayo ng pool of uh, SNP personnel through Uh, inventions, innovations, and of course, inspire one's capacity for entrepreneurship and research. Ano-ano uh, naman ang laman ng Starbucks? So, nung umpisa po ang kung ano yung meron kay library, uh, yun ang nilalagay natin kay Starbucks. Ngayon, we partnered with different content providers at sa iba't ibang ahensya ng DOST. Uh, we have livelihood videos, uh, disaster risk reduction information through S4SC, the Philippine Men and Women of Science, uh, encyclopedia, COVID, COVID information, investigatory projects, and of course, yung ating K-12 materials. So, yung K-12 materials po natin, through the partnership with Front Learners, ito na po ang laman natin. So, this is in accordance with the DepEd K-12 uh, guidelines or content guidelines. Uh, huh? uh, quarters. So, yan. So, nakabreakdown na siya per subject, per quarter, per grade level. Ah, sorry. That's per grade level, per quarter, per subject. All right. So, we can also see kung ano yung ginagamit ni DepEd na code for each specific lessons, nandito na rin po siya. So, ano ba yung mission ni Starbucks? So, sabi nga natin, ginawa si Starbucks para mapadala sa ating information seekers. So, our mission is to bring Starbucks to your location o doon sa mga nangangailangan. And to date, meron na po tayong 5,199 Starbucks sites nationwide. So, karamihan po dito, of course, is our academic institutions. We have some from LGUs, non-government uh, non government agencies, and NGOs, and private institutions. So, ilan lamang po ito sa mga uh, deployments natin. So, sabi nga natin, it's mobile. So, wala na tayong pinipiling lugar. Hindi na pwedeng sa city lang kasi hindi lang naman sa city ang nangangailangan ng impormasyon natin. Tawid ilog, tawid dagat, tawid bundok. Ito naman po, uh, uh, 
meron tayong isang area uh, isang area in Katiil, Davao Oriental. So our regional op, uh, office developed a solar powered Starbucks. So para marating natin yung barangay Malibago or Patong Elementary School. Uh, totally remote, this uh, no internet, no electricity. Pero still, they can still use our contents. Sabi ko kanina, we also have Tawid Bundok. Karamihan in car, remote areas. Okay. For our partners, these are the list of our partners. Uh, we can break them down into two uh, content partners so sila yung nagbibigay sa atin ng mga contents uh, na pwede nating ilagay kay Starbucks at ng mga gamit ng mga sadyante, researchers at uh, entrepreneurs of course we have the deployment partners so sila yung nagdadala naman ng Starbucks sa ating mga lugar or sa kanilang uh, respective beneficiaries and of course we also partnered with our different attached agencies ni DOST as well as re our regional offices for the deployment of our Starbucks sa kanilang mga nasasakupan. So, to date, ito, lang, ito po ang mga nakamit ni Starbucks simula nung tayo ay uh, nilaunch noong 2011. So, noong 2015, nagawaran tayo ng Presidential Citation for Innovative International Library Projects ng American Library Associations and the Outstanding Library of the Year ng PAARL naman. So, in 2017, nabigyan tayo ng Best Practice Recognition ng the Academy of the Philippines as well as Silver and Gold Anvil Awards for Public Relations Tools, Multimedia and Public Relations Program category. 2019, we were given the Special Award for the Freedom of Information uh, by the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Uh, last year, we were given Excellence in Government Communications Program Award ng Philippine Quill Awards. And since 2017 to 2020, tayo po ay consistent na kasama sa priority programs ng National Economic Development Authority. So, Paano naman ngayon na wala tayong physical face-to-face -face sa mga schools? So, of course, we need to pivot to the new normal. Si Starbucks po ay meron tayong iba't ibang portal na pwede pa magamit. Hindi man tayo nakikita-kita sa mga sa physical na eskwelahan. So, we have the online portal. We have different apps. We have gamified quiz app and of course, the Geo Map. So, isa-isahin natin yan. Sa ating Starbucks online portal, uh, this was launched in 2015, mainly as a management and monitoring portal ng ating mga installation sites all over the country. Dito kasi sila nagsasubmit ng mga usage reports and dito rin tayo nagbibigay ng updates sa, para sa kanilang mga contents. However, nung, during the pandemic, when everyone was forced to stay at home, so our learners ay nangailangan ng pagkukunan o ng magpag-access ng informasyon. So, what we did in Starbucks is to upload our contents dito sa ating portal uh, para magkaroon naman yung ating mga sadyante and researchers ng relevant and timely science and technology innovation information. And it was also this time na uh, nilawakan natin yung ating partnerships with the different organizations para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang content online. So, paano natin ito maa-access? Uh, using your browser, just go to www.starbooks.ph And sa upper right side, makikita nyo po dito yung login here to explore. So, just click that side and lalab magkakaroon po tayo ng pop-up window like this in image number two so if you have 
if you've registered before, uh, just input your username and password or you can always sign up. So, once you sign up, you click yung sign up form, lalabas po yung ating sign up form. Just fill out the required information and click submit. Now, you can explore our online portal. So, our contents, katulad ng mga binanggit ko kanina sa offline, we have the different contents from our different agencies, content providers, and online sources. So, para naman sa ating mga gadget users, we developed ilang mobile applications para maka-connect or maka-access din sa ating Starbucks information. So, ito naman, kinawa natin to ng July 2019. And, uh, to date, hanggang Android, Android pa lang po ang ito available. So, we can download it at Google Play Store. So, paano tayo magkaroon? Punta lang po kayo sa inyong Play Store sa inyong mga gadgets. Search for Starbucks. So, kay Starbucks po, tingnan nyo mabuti. Meron siyang nakalagay. Yung may logo po na bilog. Ayan. And then, download and install. So, same then. Pro, uh, set up lang tayo ng ating profile. Your name, your age, and your cat. Category. And then, you can access our different informations contained in Starbucks, such as the Scarte videos. So, dito, since gadget naman siya, click-click lang. Uh, minsan, may mga kailangan din tayo na applications, katulad ng video play players. And, so, para maka-access tayo ng mga videos natin. Uh, yung ibang materials natin, such as journals, science journals, we have the complete text, uh, complete article, full title, uh, uploaded na rin po yan. Especially those coming from the Philippine Journal of Science. Uh, halimbawa, uh, need nyo ng specific na item, you can always use the search function. So, sa search function natin, we can limit it or filter it if you want the video, the full text, or the text only. So, usually, yung mga text only, ito yung mga web contents natin. So, you can use titles, you can use keywords uh, to search for your information. So, paano naman kung medyo board board ka na sa pagbabasa. Si Starbucks po, nag-develop din. Ito po, bagong-bago lang. Uh, Kakalunch lang nito last week. So, initially, meron kaming uh, simple, sim, mas simpleng version nito. Ito lang yung mas pinaganda. We have avatars na. We have tokens na. And everything. So, si Gamified na po, si WizUp. Same din siya. It's available kay Android. So, punta lang tayo kay Play Store. And, hanapin po si Starbucks Wiz. So, yung icon po niya is si Smarty. Kung familiar kayo kay Smarty, yung mukhang Angry Bird na may hawak na tablet. So, yan si Starbucks Wiz. And, install and play. So, Ito na po ang mangyayari dyan. Same pa rin tayo ng process. Always enroll on your account reg or register your account and log in. Or pwede rin na po yan ng using your FB. Okay? So, meron tayong iba't ibang Meron po tayo iba't ibang levels na magagamit dito. Conquer the Wiz app? Let's begin! Take on the challenge from seven different categories. Step right up and conquer the beginner level. If you find that easy, 
the intermediate, junior and senior levels will make you wish you paid more attention in class. But if you're really raring for a challenge, prepare to be stumped when you try out the advanced level. Starbucks wins. In standard mode, you'll earn tokens by tapping the correct answer. Tap in as fast as you can to earn more tokens. Challenge your friends in dual mode. Or try out Battle of Five. Five players enter, but only one can win. Outlast your friends in this intense online battle of wits. And earn stars, climb the ranks, and collect badges along the way. Starbucks wins. Earn stars by getting questions right, winning battles, and getting daily rewards. Get more stars and you'll quickly rank up. Get on top of the game by becoming the Mad Scientist. Get more time to think with Time War. Clear away two wrong choices by engaging Take 2. Or summon Eureka and the answer will be revealed instantly. Starbucks Wiz. Okay, so yun po ang ating Starbucks Wiz up. Uh, happy playing guys download and enjoy para naman sa ating GMAP app uh, this was launched in 2019 so yung app na ito po ay pwede natin gamitin para makita natin kung saan saan na nga ba may mga Starbucks na malapit sa ating lugar and as the same uh, available din po siya sa ating Google Play Store so punta lang kayo Play Store search nyo si Starbucks Geo Map, and you'll see yung kiosk icon natin. Of course, uh, created by DOST STII pa rin po, and install. So paano natin siya gamitin? Once you open yung app, so ang lalabas po niyan is yung image one. You can use our filter site, so we can filter by location, region, province, or city, or sorry. We can use it by, we can filter by name. Name po nung lugar or nung high school. Okay? And so, in summary, ito po ang ating mga platforms. So, we have the offline. Ito yung binibigay natin sa mga institutions such as schools, LGUs, and NGAs. For online portals, we have the different apps that we can access anytime. Of course, we need internet connections. Uh, as well as our mobile apps, all you need to do is download it from Google Play Store and access our different uh, applications depending sa inyong need. So, for questions, comments, and request, you can email us at starbucks at stii.dost.gov.ph or dost.starbucks at gmail.com. You can also message us and follow us in our Facebook page at dost-starbucks. Thank you and have a great day. Right, so maraming salamat si RJ at sa lahat ng ating mga speakers. And again, ang Starbucks po ay maraming portals. So meron tayong Starbucks offline. Ito yung mga Starbucks kiosk na pinapadala natin sa mga requesting institutions. Meron tayong Starbucks online portal which you can access via the internet. At meron tayong Starbucks mobile apps which you can download via the Google Play Store. Okay, so now let us proceed to the Q&A portion. If you have any questions, the Zoom floor is now open for your clarifications and comments. Kung meron kong hindi masyadong malinaw during the discussion, uh, you can now ask your questions. And dito naman ang ating mga speakers to answer. Yan. So, siguro, while we're waiting for more uh, questions, ting nabalikan muna natin yung mga uh, questions na sinend kanina via the Q&A button. 
Ayan. So, hello po. Is it possible to get a recording of this webinar? Some of my students can attend due to important matters. So, nag-respond na po si Ms. Linder. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Yes, we will upload the recording of this session uh, to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash dost dash sdii library. Ayan. So, pwede niyo pong balik-balikan yung mga sessions kung meron kayong uh, hindi na ilista ng mga resources, pwede niyo pong uh, panoorin ulit. So, plus, uh, just give us a few days to upload uh, the recording of the session. Okay, so next question. Can non-DOSD scholars gain access to these sites po or are they only for DOSD scholars? So, nag-respond rin si Ms. Irene. They can be used by anybody, including non-DOSD scholars. So everything po from the websites to the publications to the mobile apps, lahat po yan ay for free and open to the public. So pwede, pwede po yan download kahit non-DOSD scholar. And another question, can you download a book from OPAC or you can only access it online? So... Meron na dito. Nag-respond na si Ms. Irene. Yes, the OPA can only be accessed online. Pero I think, ma'am, ito may isa pang question. Can you download a book from OPA? So, let's ask Ms. Irene. Ms. Irene? Ayan. Hi. Um, yan. As, mentioned, as I mentioned a while back, uh, that's one of the limitations of uh, books. So, we cannot give you the a full text of the book. Instead, we can only give you a chapter of the book that you need. So you just send us your request and then um, titingnan namin yung, uh, ipapadala namin sa inyo yung table of contents and we will ask you to choose kung saan doon sa chapters na yun ang kailangan ninyo and then yun ang i-digitize namin tapos ibabalik namin sa inyo. Yeah, so thank you very much, Ms. Aileen. So again, uh, meron lang po tayong restrictions for books. Again, uh, limited lang po ang aming i-provide uh, one chapter lang per book. Yeah. So meron din po tayong question dito sa chat box. Hindi po ba siya nada-download via Huawei? I think uh, sa Starbucks mobile app. So let's ask uh, Sir RJ. Hi. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, for now, wala pa po tayo sa Huawei, pero we're looking po na ma-include din siya. Same way the Apple Store. Ah, uh, wala pa po tayo kay Apple Store. Yeah. So, maraming salamat, Sir RJ. Uh, I hope that clarifies the question. So, any more questions from the participants? Meron pa pong mahabol? Or... Anyway, kung meron naman po kayong maisip na questions after this session, you can always send us a message sa aming Facebook page or pwedeng-pwede po kayong mag-send ng email. We're very responsive naman sa both platforms. Ayan. And again, uh, to access our OPAC, just visit signet.dost.gov.ph and for online subscription, please visit www.sciencedirect.com and for library material requests, just send us an email at library at sii.dost.gov.ph. Yeah. And we're also on social media, so please find us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash SDII library. And on Instagram, that's at dost.sdii.library. And on Twitter, that's at SDII underscore library. Okay, so at this point, if there are no more questions from the participants, I think we can proceed to the next slide. And so as part of our commitment to gender and development, please watch this short video from the Philippine Commission on Women. Ang mga katulad.
matutugong Pilipino kaibanan sa pagsiguro kan magkakanig ang pag-asensya. Bilang isang Muslim, ipinagmamalaki ko ang aking pananampalataya. Naniniwala ako na hindi dapat maging hadlang ang magkakaibang paniniwala sa pagsulong ng kaularan para sa lahat. Naniniwala ako na ang mga miyembro ng LGBTQ community ay may kanikariyang kakayahan at talentong kapakipakinabang sa lipunan. Ang respeto at pag sa bawat miyembro ng lipunan, anuman ang kasarian, ay susi tungo sa pagtay ng oportunidad para sa lahat. Hindi hatlang ang aking kapansanan upang maging produktibo at makilahok sa gawain pang komunidad. Ang partisipasyon ng mga taong may kapansanan sa usapin at isyong pambansa ay nakatutulong sa paghubog ng aming sariling kakayahan at sa pagkamit ng lipunang pantay at inclusive. Kaming mga kababaihan sa kabukidan ay may dakulang ambag sa komunidad, lalong-lalo na sa pangataman kang kapalibutan asin ang kasiguruhan sa pagkakain. Kung kaya kami nangangapudan sa pantay na pagtaratar sa kinukuanan kang natural na yaman asin sa pagtaon ng servisyo sa salod asin kabatiran. Kaming mga kabataan ay hindi lang para sa kinabukasan. Kami rin ay para sa kasalukuyan. Sa pamamagitan ng mga makabagong platforms katulad ng social media na ipapahayag namin ng aming boses at opinion tungkol sa mga napapanahong isyo na may epekto sa amin. May karapatan din kami na makilahok sa mga gawain pangkaularan dahil dito nakasalaray ang aming kinabukasan. Bilang isang kawani ng gobyerno, tukulin kong magsipi ng tapat, karangal at mahusay para sa bayan ko at sa aking mga kapwa Pilipinas. Makikitungo ako ng pantay at makatarungan sa lahat ng lumalapit sa aming tanggapan. Patuloy kong iaangat ang antas ng paglilingkod at sisigapin kong iparamdam sa pamamayan ang likalidad ng servisyo sa bayan. Kahit anong lahi, kahit anong relihiyon, kahit anong katayuan sa buhay, kahit anong kasarian, kahit anong pinagmulan, kahit anong edad, kahit anong profesyon, Walang dapat maiwan. Kaya magsama-sama tayong siguruhin ang pantay na karapatan at oportunidad. Para sa lahat. Kami ang generation of quality. So again, that was brought to you by the Philippine Commission on Women. And uh, now for the closing remarks, let's hear it from the Chief of the Information Resources and Analysis Division, Mr. Alan C. Taulo. Sa ngalan po ng kagawara ng Agama Teknolohiya at BOST Science and Technology Information Institute, Ako po si Alan Taule, Chief Science Research Specialist ng Information Resources and Analysis Division o IRAD na malugod na bumabati sa ating mga panauhin para sa ating webinar on online library literacy. Naway marami po kayong matutunang bagong kaalaman mula sa ating resource speakers na tumalakay sa paksang library services na maaari nating gamitin kahit hindi tayo actual na dumadalaw dito sa loob ng DOST complex sa Bikutan, Tagig City. Sabi nga nila, this is the information age where information can be accessed with a click here and there plus a few keystrokes. Sa kasalukuyan nga, hindi mo na kailangan ng PC or ng laptop sapagkat pwede ka nang mag-online sa telepon lamang. Ngunit dapat nating parating tatandaan na kung gaano kabilis makasagap ng impormasyon, ganun din kabilis makasagap ng disinformation o fake news. Malaking suliranin ngayon ang paglaganap ng maling impormasyon, lalo na sa social media. 
Kaya dapat muli nating ugaliin ang pagkalap ng impormasyon mula lamang sa official and reliable sources. At makasisiguro kayo na ang impormasyon at kaalamang nagmumula sa libraries ay nagdaan sa mga trained professionals gaya ng registered librarians ng DOSD STII. Muli, ang aking pasasalamat sa ating mga palauhin sa araw na ito. Maasa kami na maging bahagi ng buhay ng mga estudyante ang dumalaw sa DOST STI Library na makikita sa library.stii.dost.gov.ph Uulitin ko po, library.stii.dost.gov.ph Maligaya ang paglalakbay sa landas ng kaalaman at pag-unlad sa buhay. Sa so, ulitin, Yan. So maraming salamat Sir Alan and some reminders, UST STII will provide an e-certificate of attendance to all participants who successfully submitted their accomplished pre-test, post-test, and evaluation form. The e-certificate of attendance will be sent to the email address that you have provided in the evaluation form 10 working days after this, after this program. So again, makakareceive po kayo ng Certificate of Participation if you registered in the program and answer the evaluation form na nasa ating chat box. Ayan. So, pakasagutan lamang po ang uh, evaluation form. And some reminders also when answering the evaluation form, uh, please double-check your email addresses and please provide your full name. Ayan. Okay, so next slide please. Yeah, and to access our e-resources, you need to register through the link posted or through the QR code flash on your screens. So again, register through the link or QR code to get instructions on how to access our library e-resources. Yeah, and again, ang aming po physical library ay open na to the public. We're already accepting uh, on-site visitors. Ayan. So, you only need to schedule an appointment with us. So, yung mga guidelines po on how to visit, who can visit, and how to book an appointment are all posted uh, sa aming Facebook page. So, please check it out. Ayan. So, again, maraming salamat po sa mga nag-participate na mga students and mga teachers and also to Ms. Joe uh, Maraming salamat po for requesting the session. We hope na yung mga students natin maraming natutunan na pwede na lang magamit sa kanilang mga research at uh, outputs and assignments. Ayan. And siguro while the rest are answering the evaluation form, uh, may I request the panelists to open their cameras for a quick photo op. Yan. So, ang tech team na po natin ang bahalang uh, mag-capture, Sir Rainier. Ah, Sir Michael. Okay, sige po. Smile po. Okay, three, two, one, smile. Okay na po. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you very much, Sir Rainier. Again, maraming salamat po sa mga school officers and also sa librarian natin na si uh, Ms. Jo Pumalo. Yeah, would you want to uh, give a short message po before we end the program? Uh, actually, I have posted my message, but then I, I guess I need to read it. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Philippine Science High School Central, Central Mindanao Campus, I would like to thank the DOST STII administration and staff for giving us an orientation like this. The activity was precious in informing and giving us an insight into expectations of what the agency has to offer. The comprehensive uh, information provided to us was a great insight which made it well worth attending. Thank you po once again, ma'am, sir. Ma'am, the pleasure is always ours po. You're always welcome, ma'am. <laughs> Sana po may, su may, may susunod pa. 
And so again, uh, maraming salamat po and uh, that's it for our activity today. Muli magandang hapon at uh, stay safe everyone. God bless po. God bless. Thank you po. Thank you po. God bless.